some people just see him as this big angry guy in the sky who wants us to get stuff wrong so he can punish us. But what I think it is, and what I think a lot of Christians think it is, is that he cares about us. He doesn't want us to get hurt. And that's why he tells us to do things and he asks us not to do things because ultimately it's stuff that might hurt us if we don't do what he says. So I've got a cool little trick here to show you. Uh, I've got this bottle and it's got some pins in it. So if you think of these pins as maybe decisions we make, which aren't what God asks us to do and it ends up hurting us. So I'm going to take the pins out and we're going to see that it starts leaking. And so this is if we make choices that God asks us not to do. It doesn't hurt. It, it's not, he's not punishing us. This is our choice. And now the bottle's leaking and it's what do you think I can stop it now? Maybe, maybe not, but you think it's going to leak out and the water's going to run out and that's just the way gravity works. But I've got this cool little, bottle cap which has a cross on it and let's see what happens when I put it on the bottle I don't know if you can tell but the leaking stopped mm -hmm. even though the holes are still there we put the cross back on the bottle mm -hmm. and the leaking is totally stopped I, I don't know how it works but I think it's pretty cool so even though we can hurt ourselves with our actions it's not like irreversible we can put the cap on and leaking will stop. And then we have contained the water again. Thank you, Jordan. And uh, maybe we can just pray there. Thank you, Father God, that you provide um, an answer to our mistakes and that you will always cover us. You always protect us if we would just pray to you and help us to do the right thing. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. <laughs>